Hi everyone, I'm Jin Ming Liu, a graduate student from School of Biomedicine Engineering, Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I'm honored to have this opportunity to present my work. Today, my topic is Dynamic Impedance Matching Network based on real-time measurement of transducer impedance for high-intensity focused ultrasound. First of all, let me introduce the background knowledge and principle of HIFU. HIFU focused multi-array ultrasonic wheels on the target area. Increased focal temperature results in coagulation necrosis of cells. The focus of HIFU is not fixed. It can be deflected by force modulation. The basic components of each element are signal generator power amplifier and transducer. The transducer is a very important component. The impedance of the transducers operated at a resonant frequency can be well explained by the Butterworth one deck model as shown in figure A. It can well simulate the impedance variation of transducer with the frequency as shown in figure B. The Butterworth one deck model is composed of five discrete components. CS, LS, and RL compose the mechanical arm. CO and RP compose the electric arm. The series resonant frequency and the parallel resonant frequency are the FS and FP in figure B, respectively. The resonant frequency and the impedance of the transducer determines its working state. But unfortunately, many factors will change these two important variables and cause mismatching between power amplifier and transducer in working. In order to address this problem, we have to measure the transducer impedance in real time. So, the voltage signal and the current signal of transducer must be measured. Assuming that the impedance of the transducer is Z, we can obtain the value of Z by the following equations. Lower case U and I are the voltage and current signals of transducer in time domain. Capital U and I are the voltage and current signals of transducer in frequency domain. Capital A and B are the real and imaginary parts of the transducer impedance. The voltage and the current signals of transducer were measured by the in-house voltage and the current sensors, as shown in the figure. R1 and R2 have high impedance, while RS have low impedance which reduce power loss of the voltage and current sensors. The output of voltage sensor and current sensor are calculated as the following equations. C1 and C2 are manually adjustable case capacitors to eliminate the effects of the periodic components of R1 and R2. In the same way, C3 and R3 eliminate the effects of the periodic inductor of RS. The Smith chart have been used as a standard for impedance matching. In figure 8, the red circle and the green line divided the Smith chart into four regions. RO is the center of the Smith chart and the final point matching point. Different power amplifiers have different RO. The whole circle and the dashed line in figure A and B represent matching points and matching paths. Figure B shows the expansion of Smith's chart to rectangular coordinate. Matching errors are allowed in practice, but the results should be guaranteed within a certain range shown in the dashed circle. This slide shows the L-type impedance matching network and the dynamic impedance matching network. 
Dynamic Impedance Matching Network divides LM and CM in L-type impedance matching network into several small units, and each, each unit is controlled by a switch. According to the following equations, we can know the imaginary path depends on the LM and the CM, while the real path only depends on the CM. Therefore, the real path needs to be determined through CM first, and then LM can be confirmed by adjusting the force to zero. The whole process of dynamic matching includes the acquisition of voltage and current signal, impedance calculation, and the switching control of dynamic impedance matching network. This picture shows the schematic diagram of a dynamic matching system. The voltage sensor and the current sensor adjusted the voltage and the current signals in a fixed proportion. And the dual channel ADC sampled the adjusted voltage and the current signals synchronously. Signal processing and control signal generation are carried out in FPGA. The control signal controls the operation of the switch in the dynamic impedance matching network through the driver circuit. To evaluate the efficacy of the proposed dynamic impedance matching network, class AB and class E power amplifiers were used to travel seven transducers and the RF resistor. The, RF, the output impedance of both power amplifiers is 50 ohm. The wild values of class AB power amplifiers input was set to 30 mV, 40 mV, and 50 mV. And the supply voltage of class E power amplifier was set to 5 voltage and 7 voltage. This slide shows the comparison before and after matching under the class AB power amplifier. The mean active powers of the 7 transducer have been increased by 25%, 25% and 18%. And the mean power factors have been increased by 40%, 44% and 41% with the dynamic impedance matching network under the conditions of three inputs of class AB power amplifier. After matching, the seven transducers can work in accordance with the RF resistor, and the active power is even, even higher than RF resistor. This slide shows the comparison before and after matching under the class E power amplifier. The mean active powers of the seven transducers have been increased by 66% and 59% and the mean active factors have been increased by 53% and 46% with the dynamic impedance matching network under the conditions of two supply voltages of class E power amplifier. After matching, the seven transducers can also work in accordance with the RF resistor. In the last, let me make a conclusion with a few words. Preliminary feasibility variation of impedance measurement and dynamic matching in real time. The impedance matching is implemented by real time measurement of voltage and current for impedance analyze and switching control of LTAP dynamic impedance matching network. Seven transducers with and without matching in two classes of power amplifiers have verified the efficacy of the proposed dynamic impedance matching network to improve active power and power factor. In future work, it can be also used in different classes of power amplifier by setting 
the matching endpoint. So that's all my work. Thanks for your watching my presentation. It's my pleasure to talk with you today. Now, here comes to the Q and A.